let me just start off by saying that yes, it is quite extra of me to be decorating my bathroom for the fall season. First of all, who the heck decorates their bathroom? I mean, am I wrong on that or do most people not? And second of all, we're like almost all the way through fall, kind of at least halfway. So it is a bit odd that I am doing this, but I am anyways. Anyways, hello, welcome. My name is Caitlin and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be decorating the bathroom for the fall season. So I was running really short on time this week, so I don't know how I managed to get this video done, but somehow I've just been working on it during all of my breaks between homework and suffering, if you know what I mean. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, and comment what you think because I'm really curious and I love reading all of your comments. And of course, I say this in every video now, watch this video in 180 HD. Watch this video in 180 HD. It'll make the video quality a lot better and it's in your settings. If you don't care about the video quality, then it doesn't matter. So I don't know why I say it exactly. I don't know. Okay, without further ado, let's get decorated. Alright, so I'm going to start off by quickly removing all of my summer decor that I did in another video. It was cool, but you know, time to start fresh. We are going to start off with some DIY mini flower baskets, and I will do my best to try to explain properly, but I know I probably won't anyways. I'm so sorry my explaining skills are a little off, um, but essentially you're just taking little squares of tissue paper and then accordion folding like eight or ten squares and you can make these as big or small as you want to and then you're going to take a string and tie it around the center and then for the satisfying part in my opinion is when you flare out all of the layers uh, until it just looks like a ball or a flower Alright, for this part I took a section of a cup. I'm so sorry that I didn't include that part, but I just cut it off of a cup because I like the round surface. And I'm taking a piece of, it's not really called yarn, I'm going to look it up later because I'm not quite sure what it's called. But I just wrapped it all the way around with hot glue, and then I took some of the flowers that I made and hot glued those on. I do want to mention that since I'm only doing this for one season, I think it will last in the bathroom and it will be fine. But if you're looking for something more permanent, you might want to use better, I guess, materials because there is moisture in the bathroom. And now for some super easy watercolor trees. I'm just using some cardstock and then just painting little tufts of color here and there. Um, and I'll later go back with a pen and just draw like the trunk and the stems or whatever they're called. Alright, so now back in the bathroom, I'm just going to take some blue tape, uh, don't mind my weird faces, and just stick them all on there. Alright, and today's shout out goes to Madison. Oh my gosh, my memory card ran out like halfway through filming that, so we're going to continue. So. Today's shout out goes to Madison Jarbo, and she is an amazing singer, and she is so talented. She can also play the piano and guitar, like at the same time singing. I don't know how people do that. They're really good at that. Um, but she has a lot of talent, and in my opinion, a really unique voice, and a really unique range too. So definitely go check her out, and you'll know what I'm talking about. I'll leave the link to her channel in the description box below. So yeah. Alright, so this is actually a retake of a voiceover because I tried to explain this, but I realized that it actually makes no sense when I try to explain. So I'm going to try my best, but it will just make more sense if you watch. So essentially, on all four sides of a piece of cereal box or any kind of thin cardboard, you're just going to fold in and make sure the opposite side is the same. And you're going to do that twice on each side so that you kind of have a 3D thing. Like I said, when I try to explain this, it just doesn't make sense. Um, 
so yeah just keep watching and hopefully it'll speak for itself Okay, and now I'm marking all four of the corners that I want to chop off and essentially it's the corner that's closest to the center that you're going to cut off. And then, as you can see here, hopefully that made sense, I'm just turning it into a little box. So now, like you would when you're wrapping a gift, and I don't have any gift wrapping skills, but I'm just using a white piece of paper to gift wrap it, I guess you could say, just the same technique or strategy that you would normally use to kind of cover up the front. And then I'm going to write in simple font or any other kind of font you can choose, just autumn and a few other things I'll show later. And I'm making three of these and you can also just make however many you want. And yeah, here are the results. Please let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for checking this out. I hope you have an amazing day and see you next time. Bye!